And now let's do Buddha Holds Up the Earth. And when you do this exercise, allow the breath to move through you in the same fashion as in wave breathing. So as you float your arms up the front of your body, you're going to breathe into your belly. Breathe into your ribs and chest. Press your palms up to the sky. And then as you float your arms down, you'll soften your chest, your ribs, and your belly. Again, inhale, breathing into your belly, ribs and chest. And exhale, soften your chest, ribs and belly. As you lift your arms up, try to draw your shoulders down. Spread your fingers. Again. And three more times, you guys. Last time, we lift the arms up above the head. And now keep your right arm up, just lower your left arm down. Palms are gonna face away from one another for coiling and uncoiling, which opens up the spine as well as the ribs. So we're gonna side bend over to the left. Feeling that wonderful stretch from your fingertips all the way down to your hips. Lift the spine so we want to become upright again. Slowly change arms. So notice that my arms, my forearms and hands are spiraling. Pinky fingers are close to my body. My backs of my hands and my arms brush past one another. Now my left palm faces up, right palm faces down. I side bend over. Go ahead and lengthen through your legs. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, soften your knees and change your arms. So like I mentioned earlier in the class, going into lateral flexion, make sure that you just imagine that pain, those two panes of glass, one in front of you, one behind you. And you want to try to move between those two panes of glass without touching it with your body. Moving in true lateral flexion, not adding rotation in there as well. Deep breath as you side bend over and exhale. Good. So from here, what I'd like for you to do, we're going to add a little rotation to this. So I'm going to take my right hand by my head. My left arm is going to reach behind me. I'm going to turn from my hips and my waist to my left. I'm going to reach my arm in front of me out towards the wall and behind me out towards the opposite wall. I'm looking over my shoulder, coming back to the center. The back arm comes forward hand right by your ear. Other arm is going to feed behind you, almost like feeding thread through a needle and then rotating the spine, pressing the palms away from one another, looking over the shoulder. Inhale to the center and exhale. So opening the spine in all of its ranges of motion. So we did a little bit of lateral flexion a moment ago, and now we're doing some rotation. And as we rotate the spine, we are wringing out 
the internal organs. So the internal organs hold emotions according to traditional Chinese medicine. And when we squeeze and wring them out, we release toxic qi, negative emotions. And when we do so, we make space for more positive emotions to, to fill, the, uh, fill the organs. and the body, the heart and the mind. Let's do one more to each side. And then coming back to the center and then float your arms down. Okay, so now let's do oiling the wrist. So oiling the wrist is great because it opens up lines of tension in the forearms and the hands. Also opens up all the meridians, the yin meridians of your arms, yang meridians of your arms. Along the inside you have, what are the, your lungs and your large intestine, no, your lungs and your heart and your pericardium. And on the back of your hand you have your large intestine, triple warmer, as well as small intestine. So we're going to interlace the fingers, bring the hands together about the level of the heart. And then we're just going to allow one palm to rest on top of the other. We rotate so the knuckles start to, to point towards you. And then you flip so the knuckles face away. So just going from one to the other, just as smooth as possible. Trying to keep your elbows in for now. And just feel how this stretches out the wrists. A lot of the joints in the body, we have synovial joints in the body and a lot of times with many of the joints in the body, if we move the body, it creates uh, more lubrication in the joints. So we, our body has the ability to generate fluid that's lubricating within the joints, which makes movement of the joints easier. Good. So now let's allow this movement to get a little bit bigger. And if it gets a little bit bigger, we're gonna to start to get the elbows involved. So now the elbows are gonna to start to lift. So we'll take the elbow back, up, forward and down. Elbow back, up, forward and down. So if I take my elbow back and up, I want to bring my hip forward and then my elbow comes forward and down. Same thing on the other side. So elbow goes back and up. I take the hip forward and then the elbow comes forward and down. As you do this, try to keep your shoulders right over your hips and keep your spine as long as possible. So you get this wonderful stretch from the hips all the way up towards the shoulder and you get this wonderful movement through the shoulder.